Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, we're going to be working with audio. And I'm going to show you how to take a standard stereo audio, so multiple channels, and convert it into a mono or a single channel, or using only the left or the right channel. So let's get right into this, and then I'll explain to you why you, some situations where you might want to use this. Okay, good. We've got some footage here in the project panel. Left the next step. I'm going to just drag and drop it onto my timeline to create a sequence. All right, good times. I'm going to go back to the original shot, and I'm going to drag and drop this into the source panel as well. So it's up here in the source panel. This is just stock footage, and let me just hit play so you can hear it. There you go. It's a waterfall. There's not much to it. Okay, good. Back up to the source panel. Let's get into this. You want to now left-click on this audio only little icon so you can actually click on it even though it turns into a hand and it really shouldn't but anyways you can click on it and you're gonna see here that it is now showing us the audio and it's separated out the left track and the right track so this is stereo okay so we've got the left and the right track now the next step and this is a little weird is we wanna go now and right click inside this source panel and we want to go reveal in project. Left click on reveal in project. And it didn't do anything, but what it's done is it's made sure that we're on the right piece of footage. And obviously with just one piece, we're always going to be correct. But when you've got 50 pieces of audio in a huge project, well, you want to make sure you're working on the right one. Okay, that out of the way. Now we're going to go ahead, making sure we're clicked on this one here. We're going to right click and we're going to go to modify. And then from Modify, you want to go to Audio Channels. And this is where you can turn stereo into mono. So you're going to see here a bunch of stuff, but the one that we want to focus on, Clip Channel Format defaults to stereo. Drop it down. You can change it to mono. Now that might be just enough for you guys, but I'll show you a little bit more here. When we're in stereo, which was the default, you're going to see the left and the right channels are clicked you could actually listen to the channels independently to make sure you got the right one. So let's listen to the left one. All right, it sounds like white noise. Drop that down, let's listen to the right one. Pretty much the same, all good. Now, when we go back up here, and let's go back to turning this into mono, you can go ahead and select mono, and then when you do that, you'll notice here that you get the choice of using either the left or the right. So depending on which one you want to use, that is all there is to it. A use case for something like this is if you haven't, uh, you're doing an interview, and you've got multiple points, of, like multiple recordings of the um, interview, and then maybe he, the guy or the girl, whoever bangs their microphone during the interview, you're going to get a big bump, right? And you want to isolate that, so you can actually then just isolate that, and then switch to just using the track that doesn't have the bump in it or you can do various things like that so that's stereo to mono that's all there is to it guys ton more stuff coming up stay tuned